As the world evolves, innovation is changing just about everything, including agriculture as we know it. It's an industry that is changing as fast as any other industry. Advancing knowledge in a way that I had never even thought about. The biggest challenge that faces agriculture is trying to find the balance between being absolutely efficient and being productive. That requires our yields to be higher. That requires efficiency and our sustainability on that acre to be top notch day in, day out. We're farming inches at times versus acres. You wouldn't even think about that 10 years ago. There was several years in labs and in greenhouses and small plot trials to get to where they are today. We have the technology now to do stuff we never thought we could before. To face the challenges of weather, less arable land and geopolitical turmoil, agriculture is rising to the challenge in a race to feed the world with breakthrough technology driven by research and science. Technology has continued to in increase and evolve and uh, change every year, really. Uh, we've started doing variable rate planting where we will plant different amounts of crop or seed into the ground in different spots of the field, depending on where, where we think it'll do the best and where it'll produce the most with the least amount of inputs involved with it. For roots go deeper than six inches, the roots are interacting with the soil differently. And so the innovation is, is understanding how the crop and the nutrients and the soil and the environment are all interacting in one. How are the roots growing and accessing the nutrients? How can we change that across the landscape because maybe we need more or less of something here. There's technology in this granule. There's technology in this building. There's technology in the soil. Um, there's science in the soil. So we just got to marry them all together. As, a, as agronomy advisors, we've got we to bring together what's going on below ground, above ground, and then mother nature and make it all one big process. There's no more land being created. There is less space to do more with. We do have to feed more people. Today, farmers and the agriculture industry are innovating to take nutrient management to new levels. Nutrient management is critical because we need to make sure the crops have the nutrients they need. We need to push production. We need to produce not just the high yields, but we need yield stability. So that means we bring the lows up. Some of the things we're doing is maybe taking some nutrients and putting it right by that seed or the micronutrients right by that seed, got right where they need it, right when they need it, the exact place they need it. The days of broadcasting out in one blanket rate are behind us. We have sulfur and zinc in every granule. When you start looking at the, the analysis of this, having the zinc right there for the root zone, right there in the soil where we need it, it's not laying on top, it's not, it's not washing off. So it just gives us about a five to seven bushel advantage. It just changed everything. We're much more efficient with our seed, chemicals, and fertilizer. We must do something today to meet the challenges we still face tomorrow. With the population that we have now, if we went back to production methods of the 40s and 50s, people would, would be starving worldwide. The innovation is, is understanding how the crop and the nutrients and the soil and the environment are all interacting in one. It's that innovation in both production and food security. All those things are a race to get to the point to make sure that we're, we're sustainable and feeding more people. That's the path we have to go down. Rise to the challenge.